Hi, this is Needlepointers.com. Today we have a little bit of a different video for you. This is going to be a video about how to install a package of bees into a, new, a beehive, an empty one. So what happened is that we have these two beehives in our backyard and in the fall the one on the right died off. We're not really sure why but this happens with bees and these are honeybees not wasps or anything else. They do make honey and we harvest the honey from them from their hives but the one hive died off. So what happens is in the springtime my husband will purchase a package of bees which is something like 10 to 20,000 bees in a box and with a queen in another little box and that will be installed into the second hive in order to start it up again and then that that hive will become a brand new hive for bees for the bees to live in and make honey and we will harvest the honey maybe later this summer. So this video is going to show the process of installing the new bees from the package into the hive on the right side. After watching the bees be installed, click the link in the iHeart or the description of the video to visit our website needlepointers.com and we will have some other pictures that we took when we were uh, before and after we were installing the bees. So this is an empty hive that we're going to install the new bees in and there's different frames. You can see there's frames here that have comb on it already. This, this is from another hive that we had before that the frames were saved so that the bees will have something to work with when they get in the hive. Go ahead. Okay, so this is a package of bees that I got yesterday that Kate and I are going to install today. So this probably came from somewhere in the south. Um, inside this wooden box with the mesh on the side, there is a, um, a queen bee in a cage with a few of her workers. There should be a can of syrup, which is slowly dripping to provide them the feed. And as you can see, there is a giant mass of worker bees around it. They're going to have been given um, something called swarm pheromone, which helps them think that they're in a swarm state. It both helps with them be a little bit more docile, because um, they're not, when they're in a swarm state, they don't think they have a hive to protect, because they don't at this point. Um, it also um, helps them accept a new queen, because those workers that are in here in bulk unlikely to have come from the hive where the queen that's in the cage in here was raised. Um, so we are fortunate that we're going to be installing these into a hive that um, died out. So we have a um, frame with comb, full comb in it. Um, if you're doing this into something with just foundation, i.e. where there's no cells, then they're very and the bees are much more sensitive to food supply and you have to be kind of careful about not um, making sure they continually have syrup feed. Um, so you see I've just taken the little lid off here um, and at this point there's nothing really to see here but um, and so what we've kind of done is we've made a gap in this hive that we're going to dump a lot of these bees into when we get them out of here. And then we're going to hold the queen. We're going to, this little strap um, should be attached to the queen cage. We'll make sure of that when we get in there. And then we'll use that to kind of hold the queen cage in there for like a day or two. Um, and then we'll release the queen um, once we're really sure that the worker's in there. I've accepted her. The queen cage kind of protects her a little bit from the workers around her if they're not inclined to be entirely happy with her. All right, Katie, can you come here? I need, I need a finger. Please. Thank you. 
yeah, actually, keep that from disappearing. Pull that, pull that up, up just a little bit. I'm kind of slowly trying to get the can of syrup out of here without squishing a whole mess of bees. There's probably bees all clinging to the bottom of it. We will see when it lifts out. Just a few. Here. Alright, Katie, you can go ahead and pull that strap out. We should have queens. So that's a queen cage, and we're going to basically just shake the bees off. Take the bees off to make sure we can see. And okay, see, I can. If you look, see the long belly. That's the queen. So we have a queen. We have a loving queen in there. All right, Katie, I need you to hold that again. Just hold that there. Okay. Now, this is the super technical part where we this is what I said when I said we were pouring bees we are pouring bees and yeah when they're in this kind of swarm state they're inclined to clump together they are not super Aggressive. Well, these are never super aggressive unless you've done something to really get them mad, but they're even less inclined to get upset right now. And yes, they will come off in clumps like that. And they also like to kind of cling on to each other and make yeah. like these. There was this well, that's, one that's like their, strand their... of bees that were just holding on to each other. Because that's their behavior in a Dangling swarm. Dangling down. They right. They form big clumps in in a tree, or whatever. They stick together to protect their queen and and kind of have efficient communication and transfer of food and etc. Between them. A few more combs into here. Can you see me? Put it. Put the or get lifted out and put it, lift it and put it in the center between these two. Okay. And take this and yeah, brushing a few bees off here and there. I'm um, gonna get one more frame. And yeah, every time you do when you do a package install, you get a lot of bees in the air like this, that's kind of normal. Um, move it to the right, we're gonna aim for holding this in the center. Alright, I need you to hold okay, or get the staple. Yeah. Miss, you're not supposed to be on that. Okay. So we put a few more frames in there. We need a little bit of room in the center to hold the queen cage like that. Um, all right. And so the queen cage is stapled like that. So Katie, can you brush them just a little bit back from the edges? Okay. Yeah, and you're gonna have bees on the brush and everything. And then that edge too. This is gonna be a little tricky here. All right, can you get that far side again? This box is gonna be a little bit heavy. So I'm trying not to squish bees too much. Okay, get them right on. Oh, there we. Are. They're getting out. There you go. There was two that were right bees there. Did you brush. catch that one? Did he catch that one bee? This? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. It's fine. If that caught, then but it happens. Take, take. It does happen. There's bees. Yeah, I know. Okay. All right. Um, so you can put that. Actually, you can put that one comb into that frame, into that box for right now. And 
Yep, we can put this box. do another mini dump here. You see there's a lot less bees now in this thing. Mm -hmm. I'd assume so, Sophie. Um, I'm gonna put this, so this is one-to-one -one sugar syrup that Katie made yesterday, and this is a feeder bottle which has a few holes in the top. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna turn it upside down so it starts the first drip, and then see from there it will drip very slowly unless they drink from it. And I'm gonna put it In a fashion where I hopefully am not squashing a whole mess of bees here. Hello, miss. Um, and, and we'll put this box kind of near the end. Actually, we'll put this kind of here. But they should, with a little bit of time, kind of decide, hey, I think all the bees are down there, and that down there is dark. So, so they should, they will eventually kind of mostly evacuate out of this, but we'll, we might need to shake a few out. Um, and then once they're all gone out of there, we'll close this guy up, and we'll you know, we'll let it go for a couple days. We'll see if the queen looks like they're, they're, she's in good shape in a couple days, we'll let her, we'll release her from the cage and we'll move the frames back so they have a solid set of frames and keep our fingers crossed that everything goes well with this hive. Okay, thank you. This is one of our existing hives and it's pretty busy this today, this afternoon. It's a warm spring day. So you can see all the bees coming and going and these are all the worker bees, which are all females. The females are the bees that go out and search for food and pollen and everything else they need. I hope you enjoyed seeing this video about how to install bees, a bee package, into an, an empty beehive. This is a couple days later and I am videoing the new, the new hive and you can see that the lid is on and the hive is a little bit active. It's kind of cool today, so there's not a ton of bees out, but there are some coming and going to the hive. So we will hope that this hive survives and thrives this summer, and they can make honey, and hopefully we'll make it through the next year. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on crafting and sometimes on gardening and beekeeping. I'll t see you soon. Bye.